Hey everyone, in this video, I want to go over module seven. So here we go. Before I actually get to that, I wanted to mention that for module six, I messed up on posting the module six overview video. If you recall, it was this Hershey multi attribute model assignment overview video that I put here. So for what it's worth, Go ahead and check out module six, the overview video for that, if you would like to do so. And then for module seven, after I finish recording this one, I'll ensure that I put the correct overview video on here. So module seven is our final module. Yay. If you look at the course syllabus, it follows the spring break. So from weeks 13 to the final week, week 16, you will be working on these following items. So the readings, chapter 16 to 20, you have your Hershey project final pitch, and then the a couple of tests on there covering chapter 16 to 20. I'll talk more about that in a minute. And then you have your final discussion, which as always has two components to it, an initial post and a required reply to a classmate's initial post. So the due date for that is actually the last day of the semester. April 25th, uh, as far as the reply to a classmate's initial post and everything else is due April 23rd, the last week of classes. Looking at the module seven overview and to do list page, it's your usual stuff, a reminder of your readings, as I mentioned, chapter 16 to 20. And then there's a module seven course materials page and I kept it simple. I just provided you the PowerPoint files that went with each chapter. So no additional videos to watch. And let me jump to let me jump to uh, the discussion seven. So this final discussion I highlighted on here the four bullet points for you to choose from. And I'm asking that you choose at least two to talk about. And the reason I'm pointing this out specifically is that I wanted to let you know that it's not specific to your chapter readings for module seven. You could certainly cover topics that are covered, cover topics that are covered, okay, uh, in chapter 16 to 20, but it doesn't have to be that way. You could choose an earlier topic from one of our previous chapters that we covered. So this is just going to be like an overall reflection kind of thing for you to think about everything we've learned throughout the semester. And then there's your test. So this one, if you look, I put on there different from the course syllabus. And if you look closely, I call it test six. And in the course syllabus, right, I said test seven and test eight. Well, the reason I'm making that change is I, for whatever reason, I did not catch this because there are so many items on this calendar, right? Well, I looked at this one, so that says test five, and then I looked at this one, that's test seven. So I was like, okay, well, where's test six? Who knows? Uh, so I missed that I did not have a test six. So all this time, as I was setting up the points, total points for our class this semester, I had counted on eight tests at 50 points each, so making it 400, and then that gives us our 1,000 points for this semester. Well, if I have one test missing, that just kind of messes things up. So what I ended up doing is I combined what was originally going to be test seven and eight, uh, covering these five chapters, chapter 16 to 20. I combined that into just one test and I made it 150 points so that when you add it along with the first five tests, that equals out to 400 points total for tests. So in the end, what you need to know is I made it so that the math worked out so that our final points for the semester stayed the same and that the last five chapters are covered in some kind of test. So that would be why, if you were looking at the course syllabus, why there are no two different tests and that it's called test six. 
Okay. And then the last item is the Hershey project final pitch. So just, this is your same, it's the final part of the semester long project that you've been working on related to your assigned Hershey brand product. So this would be related to that product extension idea that's due on April 2nd. I know one team's already submitted that uh, as of today. So I'm recording this March 31st. I haven't looked to see if there is a submission from the other team, but you do have until, until April 2nd. So that's this Hershey project final pitch is related to that topic. You will be, as the name of the project suggests, be doing a pitch on your product. And the details for that are right here. You will be recording a three minute pitch for the product that you came up with, and you will create a slide deck supporting your thoughts. So I don't have any kind of final paper or anything like that. I, I mean, what I have are the 10 different parts that you will have worked on for this project. And now you're going to summarize the main points in a slide deck. And I gave a, an example here from a previous class at another at another institution. And that gives you an idea of how to approach this. And you will be creating a three minute pitch. My recommendation is to use Yuja, but you all might have your own options or things you want to use to create the video. I also mentioned that it is possible. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Uh, right here. It is likely Oh, the pitch deck may contain material not included in your actual three minute video you're going to create because it's likely that you won't have time to cover most of the concepts. So just think of this as I am like the CEO of whatever brand you're, um, or not CEO, let's say like a marketing manager, let's go with that. Uh, and you're presenting the idea to me to develop this new pro uh, product idea that you have to make it a possibility. Okay, so that's module seven. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.